Santa Claus says, did you have a good Christmas? I did, but I didn't seem to get that Model 3 I asked for. Santa Claus says, well, you see, I checked my list twice and you were definitely on the naughty side. Better luck next year. Oh, I see. Well, I'll try harder this year. Santa Claus said, I won't hold my breath. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. All right, it's time to talk about Tesla's latest update to 2019.40.50.1, um, or 10.2 is what they called it in the email. So let's take a look at the release notes. Okay, the first thing up is driving visualization improvements. And this is the FSD uh, preview capability. So it'll show stop signs, uh, stop lights, It'll even show flashing lights, which is uh, kind of cool. Um, it'll also show other uh, lane markings uh, as well as other objects besides the, the construction cones that you could see previously. The next thing is voice command improvements, which they've rebuilt to understand natural language. So now you can use more general words for uh, things that you'd like the car to do. At the end of the video, I have a long list of commands so you can see all the features that this has. Next up is phone improvements, and the major update here is that you can send, receive, and reply to messages, which is what you saw at the beginning of the video. Uh, you can also uh, get quick access to your favorites in your contact list by hitting the menu option here and then hitting call. You now have your messages menu, your favorites and recents, and then, of course, your contacts and dialer, which you had uh, previously. Okay, next up is camp mode. So now, instead of just having the uh, HVAC on when you leave or dog mode, you also have an ability to turn on, basically, the HVAC lights, um, the outlets for, like, USB and the 12-volt uh, will all stay on. Uh, for a Model X, this is pretty nice since uh, it has a 12 volt in the back, so you can run something like a cooler uh, as well. So that's pretty neat, and you just access that uh, from the uh, HVAC uh, options down at the bottom of your screen. So you just select your HVAC, and now down at the bottom you have a camp mode, and it'll stay on until it reaches about 20%. Okay, next up under the Tesla Theater, we now have Twitch. So we go under our menu, entertainment, under theater, and then we can see here we have Twitch. And this actually looks to be custom built just like the YouTube app was. Uh, response is pretty good. Videos come up very quickly. We also have some updates under Arcade. Uh, we now have Stardew Valley. Unfortunately, it appears to be waiting for an update. So I haven't been able to try that out yet. And then we also have uh, Backgammon, and I have no idea how to play Backgammon, but uh, the graphics on this look pretty nice. Uh, it has like a felt and leather background. Next up is voice keyboard. So they've added a voice option to your uh, keyboard menu. So if we have navigation here, we can say Las Vegas Supercharger. Works pretty good. Okay, next up is Trax version 0.1. And you access this one through your Easter eggs menu. So if you hit your Tesla T, you get this menu. Then you can drag that down. And now you see Trax in the top right. It takes a minute for this to load. And now you can create your symphony. Pretty cool. 
Okay, next up is adaptive suspension dampening updates. So they've added a comfort uh, and, and changed the original standard to auto, uh, as well as keeping the sport. So you access that. Uh, and of course, this is for the Raven versions of the Model S and X. So under your suspension menu, uh, you can see here that you now have a comfort, uh, auto, and sport. And it appears that the wheels have fallen off of my Model X. Next up is a really good one. It's called uh, Save Dash Cam Clips on Honk. And ironically, I've already used this one, so I'll flip to that video real quick. As this car on the right was merging onto the highway, he almost merged into us. When I hit the horn, it automatically recorded this video. Next up is driver profile, so they've added some additional settings that are saved. The first one is volume levels for navigation, um, as well as the traffic display settings. So I really like that because my wife and I prefer different settings for that and different volumes. So it's great that that's now set per profile. And then the last item is you can now have uh, Danish for your language. So this is a pretty large update. This is This is huge. I'm definitely impressed with all of the updates, especially the full self-driving preview, which is great to see the additional objects that it can detect. All right, so next going to show all of the commands. So you can end the video here if you don't want to see those, and if you do, it's a long set of me just asking things and seeing what it does. Thanks for watching. Open the control panel. Close the control panel. Open suspension settings. Open quick controls. Close quick controls. Open the lights menu. Open the lights menu. Open the driving menu. Turn on range mode. Turn range mode on. Turn trailer mode on. Change acceleration to chill. Change steering mode to comfort. Change regenerative braking to low. Change stopping mode to creep. Close the menu. Open the autopilot settings. Customize navigate on autopilot. Open the Customize Navigate on Autopilot menu. Disable Auto Steer. Open the Vehicle menu. Open the Trips menu. Open the Display menu. Open Autopilot settings. Open the Navigation menu. Open Safety and Security. Open the Software menu. Open the Service menu. Open the Owner's Manual. Zoom in on the map. Zoom out on the map. Zoom all the way out on the map.
Position the map to my location. Center the map. Change the map orientation to my car. Change the map orientation. Change the map to north orientation. Turn traffic off. Traffic on. Change map view. Turn the radio on. Turn the HVAC on. Turn the HVAC to auto. Set the passenger HVAC to 65 degrees. Set the HVAC temperature to 70 degrees. Turn on the passenger heat heater. Turn on the driver's heated seat. Turn off the passenger heated seat. Turn off the driver's heated seat. Turn on the rear heated seats. Turn off the rear heated seats. Turn the defroster on. Turn the defroster off. Open the glove compartment. Turn on the headlights. Turn on the parking lights. Turn on the four ways. Turn on the hazard lights. Turn on the dome light. Cool. Turn off the dome light. Turn on the ambient lights. Open the driver's side door. Open the driver door. Open the passenger door. Open the left falcon wing door. Open the falcon wing doors. Open the trunk. Open the frunk. Adjust the headrest. Adjust the seat. Adjust the driver's seat. Adjust the lumbar. Roll the windows down. Roll down the driver's window. Roll down the passenger's window.